NTA, the National Testing Agency, has released the results of JEE, the Joint Entrance Examination Mains 2025 Session 2. The agency has also announced that the results of 110 candidates have been withheld on charges of using unfair means, including forged documents. It has activated the link on the official website at jeemain.nta.nic.in. Candidates who have appeared for Session 2 examinations, which were held from April 2nd till 9th, 2025, can check the JEE Main 2025 Session 2 results with their valid login credentials. Now, the toppers list that the NTA has released contains the names of candidates who have obtained an NTA score of 100 in the BEB Tech paper. The agency also released list of JEE main state-wise toppers, their NTA scores and their results as well. A total of 24 candidates obtained a perfect score in the JEE main 2025 paper 1 examination. Let's talk about what can be inferred from this year's results though. Professor V. Ramagopal Rao, uh, he's the Group Vice Chancellor of Bits Pilani, joining us on the broadcast. Uh, thank you so much for speaking to us. Like we have already read out uh, the information, the latest one that we have received, sir, with regards to the results. What is your opinion? What exactly can be inferred from the results which were announced today? I think the results are on expected lines. I see that um, at least 24 candidates have scored full 100 percentile, uh, you know, which never happens in the JE advanced exam, which IITs conduct, but in JE mains, that has become, you know, somehow a very common feature. Uh, so many students are getting full 100 percent marks, you know, I think uh, uh, is one thing that happens in JE mains. And uh, also out of these JE mains now, at least 2.5 lakh students uh, will be shortlisted for uh, for the JE Advanced, which is the exam that IITs use uh, for for their admissions. And uh, I think uh, they have already declared the cutoffs for the JE Advanced exam, uh, who can now appear for the JE Advanced exam. And I think this unfair means I am happy to see that uh, they are now using the biometrics, and uh, I think which is very important because. Uh, this proxy, uh, you know, kind of an issue where, uh, you know, the, 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 some other candidates coming and appearing for the examinations was always a big challenge in, uh, in the JE mains examination. I think this biometrics, the introduction of biometrics has, has definitely, you know, had made the examination much better in terms of, uh, uh, you know, improving the integrity of the entire examination process. And um, I think uh, you know, overall, out of 15 lakh students who have appeared for JE mains, so now the second level exam, JE advanced, will happen for the IITs. And while in, uh, NITs and other institutions in the country will, will anyway admit students based on the JE mains examinations. And also the, the toppers list, if you look at, it primarily follows where the coaching centers are located. Um, it is nothing to do with the states. Now, why would Rajasthan, for example, top the list for toppers? It's simply because Rajasthan has quota, uh, you know, where a lot of candidates go for their uh, their coaching. And other than that, the statewide list of uh, uh, the toppers, you know, doesn't have much of a much of a meaning. I think it's just the location of those coaching centers. So, so I think everything is on expected lines, and I'm happy to see some new measures introduced to 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 improve the integrity of the examination because that was one thing, you know, which was a major problem with JE mains. A um, lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, computers, these are all computer-based tests and uh, the computers being hacked. And then, uh, you know, uh, so those were the kinds of issues that one was facing earlier. I think uh, JE mains has this year, you know, tried to tighten some of these measures. So. Uh, Professor Rao, I would also like to understand from you because you have said that, uh, you know, recent technological advancements have happened with regards to the conduction of this particular competitive exams. 
but uh, we are also given to understand that 110 candidates have been withheld on the charges of using some unfair sort of means including the forged documents in such cases is there any kind of ban which is posted on such students who have been involved or maybe allegedly uh, allegedly using all of these unfair means in the examination or is there a separate examination held for them later on I think they will be banned now. Uh, I think that's a decision which NTA will take. But many of them are uh, are unfair because of the biometrics did not match, and uh, and then they are also using this year for the first time AI based video analytics and uh, also doing live CCTV surveillance of all the examination centers. They have also introduced 5G jammers. Uh, this time. So the I think uh, you know the unfair means would be because of multiple reasons. Uh, the uh, uh, I think uh, now they will have to take a call and uh, I think once somebody is is uh, proven to be uh, to have uh, you know uh, taken recourse to some of these unfair means and I think they will be debarred from appearing for that examination. They would uh, lose a year basically. So Right. Also, sir, because we also sp uh, spoke about the 100 percentile perfect score, which is extremely rare. This time around, a total of 24 candidates have obtained a perfect score in the JWE Main 2025 paper one of examination. Could you tell us more if uh, the graph has been going uh, on the upward? Is it more than last year or less than last year? How if, if we have to compare the scores? I think the numbers are similar, but compared to NEET, for example, uh -huh. I think uh, JE Mains has fewer 100 percentile scorers. In, uh, in for example, NEET, if as you remember, you know, the if you just go by the NEET score, even the 100 percentile students could not have been accommodated in Ames, Delhi. That was a big challenge they had with the NEET exam uh, last year. But this year, I think, uh, I think the, the question is about uh, the student preparation for these examinations and the quality of questions you know that are set that are used for examining the students the same thing never happens in the je advanced examination because there's an examination conducted by iits you know uh, i was director of iit delhi i was also chairman of je advanced it is unheard of right i mean okay. in the iit system because of the quality of those question papers uh, it, it also challenges the students you know to score better and uh, it sets a benchmark for the for the 11th and 12th standard uh, in the country when it comes to physics chemistry and mathematics kind of uh, uh, subjects i think the, so that is where we need to ensure that uh, uh, you know there is a level playing field and somebody going to uh, you know a, a coaching center who has learned all the tricks and if they are able to score all the questions then i think we are only encouraging the coaching culture in the country i think these questions need to be in in such a way that you know they test the understanding of the of the candidate their their thinking ability and the grasp of fundamentals rather than some tricks you know that they learn in the coaching centers so i think the quality of question papers needs to be very very you know rigorously monitored and uh, and uh, and then you have to have the best people in the country setting these question papers i think you know i am not a great fan of students scoring 100 percent marks in these examinations and particularly so many students are scoring 100 percent marks in these examinations because that only shows that the question papers are all you know things which you can uh, practice and hmm. and solve kind of a thing uh, i think the je advanced has that way you know set that standard uh, which is very high for the country but which also in a way helps the uh, the 11th and 12th standard uh, you know all these sci uh, science subjects uh, the way they are taught in the country so i think some something which je mains also needs to learn from the from the iit system and the je mains because it is conducted by the ministry the nta the involvement of iits has come down over the years and which is a matter of concern i think leaving it to the ministries to conduct these examinations you know often has its own pitfalls because mm. in ministry the, there are no permanent staff there are contract people and the secretaries keep changing the people managing the system are all government employees who keep changing their uh, ownership of these examinations is not as high as what you would find in iits for example the je advanced examination 50 percent of iit faculty in 23 iits 
would participate in conducting the examination. 50% of IIT faculty in every institution, if you look at either as invigilators or paper setters or, you know, looking at the overall aspects of conducting that exam. That is how JE Advanced has attained that, that global stature as one of the best examinations in the world for, uh, for testing students. I think JE Mains, you know, needs at some point uh, to have some of those elements taken and uh, particularly when it comes to question papers, right. I think we need to do a better job with that. Absolutely. Professor Rao, thank you so much for joining this conversation here at News9, putting your perspective across and of course helping us understand the system in a better manner.